So filters for drones is definitely not a new concept. It's been around for years now. In the beginning, it was always uh, neutral density filters, which the concept there is very straightforward and simple. It's simply sunglasses for your camera sensor, and they typically work pretty well. In the last year or so, these uh, drone accessory manufacturers started to release ND filters that had polarization in it as well, and I've always been kind of curious exactly how well that would really work. So. Before my trip to Kauai, where I'm at right now, I wanted to, uh, to test that out. I figured what better place than here to do that. I purchased the, the Polar Pro, the Cinema Series, the Vivid Collection. So, and I'm, I, I know you know who Polar Pro is. They gotta be the leader in uh, drone accessories out there on the market today. So I'm gonna fly it up and down the coast here. We'll do some images with the filter, without the filter, we'll compare them. I can't finish the video here. I actually have to, uh, to grab a flight here in a few hours. So uh, as soon as I get back, back home, we'll take the filters over to the desk, we'll get a closer look, and we'll compare the images and see if they're really worth the money. So uh, see you soon. All right, so this is the, uh, the DJI Mavic Pro filters from Polar Pro. This is the Cinema Series, this, and this is the Vivid Collection. There is also a, uh, the Shutter Collection, which is also part of the Cinema Series as well, but that's just uh, ND filters. If you're looking for ND filters plus polarization, these are the filters you want to get. Now they come in a uh, ND4, ND8, and ND16 uh, version, all with polarizing as well. And the, uh, the ND4 offers two stops of light reduction, the ND8 is three stops, and the ND16 is four stops of light reduction. So plenty of light stoppage power there. But the tricky part with um, polarizers are, you know, they're not near as simple to use as uh, ND filters are. ND filters, you just put them on the end of your lens and they work no matter what direction your, uh, your camera's pointing. But with uh, polarizers, you really need the sun at a 90, de 90 degree angle. So I was always kind of curious how they would work on drones because drones are constantly spinning around in the air. And, and I figured you, you might have to be a little bit more strategic with your flight path and how you, um, how you take your photos, always keeping the, the sun at 90 degrees. So I was uh, always really looking forward to uh, looking for an opportunity to test these out. And when I uh, had my uh, trip for Hawaii coming up um, a few days ago, I was when I decided to uh, to purchase these before that trip. I figured Hawaii would be a fantastic place to uh, test these out. Because at the end of the day, the, what, what we're looking for with polarizers is, you know, to, to help manage a glare and reflections and really to like the deepen blueness in the sky or uh, bring out the blue in water or really just to kind of make um, uh, vibrant colors even more vibrant, especially, you know, like I mentioned, blues and water and sky and also the, the green in, in trees and in foliage and things like that. So that's ultimately what we're looking for with polarizers. Now, there's not a whole lot to these. Um, they're made of um, a lightweight anodized aluminum frame, which is uh, important because you, you can't put uh, you know, any kind of heavy load on your, your gimbal for your drone or you'll get gimbal overload warnings when you're uh, initializing the drone at startup. So uh, these are very light. You don't have to worry about that at all. But, um, you know, they, Polar Pro talks about uh, the, the pristine optics, and I think they call the Cinema Series a multi-coated glass for pristine optics. I think that's exactly what they say. And they, they tout uh, increased image sharpness. And I was a little leery with that because, one, it's kind of tough with a drone because drones, you, you fly them so far away from you and they're bouncing around in the air with the wind. And it's tough to tell, you know, is, that, is an image really sharper or is the other image just a little, just a little bit soft because it was uh, the drone was moving in the air. But as you'll see at the end of this video, there was one image where the, the image with the filter was noticeably sharper than the other image without the filter of the same scene. But then the, there was another image where it, that wasn't the case. So I'm not 100% sure with that. But I can say that these filters more than likely are not going to make your image any less sharp which that's also important as well too when you're dealing with filters themselves. Now, one thing to note with the, uh, the circular polarizers is just like with normal polarizers, you know, you want to, you want to spin these when you're, let me pull this up here, when you're going to put these on your actual drone itself. And what I like to do is I always flip it over like this. But uh, first, let me show you this actually. So with the, let me make my screen as bright as possible. And I'm hoping you can see this. But if you spin this, you should be able to see it get darker. I can put it all the way down here. Darker and lighter. I'm hoping that's working. Yep, it is. I can see it. So you want to, when you put this on the end of your drone, you want to do the same thing. So I always flip it over like this, and I always leave the, the gimbal lock on just so it doesn't, the gimbal is not flopping around when you're trying to do this. 
and when you have it uh, connected with your uh, with your uh, the controller of the actual drone and you can kind of see what the camera is seeing through your iPad or your iPhone you don't put it all the way on but you can just kind of spin it around here just to figure out how much polarization you actually want to apply and I tested the ND4 when I was in Kauai a few days ago and I didn't put it on max polarization I kind of found a, a, a middle ground to test it out with but these are real simple to put on you simply just uh, hold the gimbal lock in place here and you just firmly press in with two fingers and make sure it's snug and uh, you just want to make sure that there's really no gap anywhere along the back side of it here and it's all fits snug on there but that's really it there's not a whole lot to um as far as uh, fiddling with these goes you just kind of put them on and, and, and you take off and fly now uh, i was actually fairly surprised though uh you know when i first got the images um uh, on, on my computer and i first looked at it, i really didn't notice that much of a difference and i'll admit i was kind of disappointed but then upon further inspection, when I actually put the images together of the same scene, you could actually see a line down the middle of the image that had the polarizer on it and the image that did not. So you were really able to see the difference there. Now granted, as you'll see, some of the images, uh, you can notice the polarizing effect a little bit more than others. But uh, overall, you know, th these retail for $79.99 and it seems like a lot of money for, 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 what, the, for what you get. But at the end of the day, if they work, it, it's definitely worth it to, to, to get um, you know, better images, vibrant colors, less glare when you're shooting outside. It's definitely important in any type of photography, but definitely uh, more so with um, aerial photography, just because of uh, you know, the brightness in the sky generally and the reflections on the ground when you're shooting. So you know, you, let me know what you guys think uh, in the comments below. I I have to say that I do think these work. Whether or not they're worth $79.99, I'm not 100% sure. You know, I'm always wondering, can you can I just boost the, the, the vibrance in post to kind of get the same effect? You probably can, but there's really no way to reduce glare or minimize and shine, especially on water, which you'll see in a minute. There's no way to do that in post. So, you just really got to determine whether or not it's actually worth the extra money. So I um, hope you enjoy the video. Like I said, uh, the the, uh, the images to compare are coming up right now. Let me know in the comments what you think, whether or not you can notice the polarizing effect or not, and whether or not you think it's worth uh, $79.99. So as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week. Bye. It's all right. Hang up the phone and let your heart break on the inner lane. 24 twice. She's on the phone, but she's staying on. Will shop full of art. Old dreams dying hard. It wants you to.